Well, this is what it looked like earlier today in Pocatello. Just a beautiful fall day. Most of the leaves gone. We still have some stragglers. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. Yeah, I'll be raking up a lot of leaves this weekend because I'm still waiting for all the leaves to fall. Uh, but we are going to get into some windy weather here for tonight and tomorrow. And hopefully we'll start to move more of those leaves around as we get through the next couple of days. Thanks to a couple of approaching storm systems. And the first one's going to get in here by tomorrow night. We have another one that's on its way here for Monday night and Tuesday as we head into next week. Of course, we had a little bit of rain late last night. Just a quick little shot of some wet weather outside. Currently in Idaho Falls, though, we have a bit of a breeze. We have temperatures into the mid 50s, 56 degrees right now. Light winds at the airport at the moment, but the winds have been off and on all day. Right now we're at three mile an hour winds last check, but we've been bouncing back into those teens and 20s for the winds as we're pulling in some of that stormy weather off to the west. Pocatello live look at the Pocatello Farm Bureau sky cam 60 degrees and at the airport we're getting winds out of the south at 15 miles an hour over on Viper. Things are looking fairly dry locally, but you look to the south and to the west. You're just starting to see a touch of wet weather creeping across the Utah, excuse me, actually Nevada state line and also getting out of Oregon. And then you look to the north. We also have some showers spreading into North Idaho right now with a bit of some rain up towards Coeur d'Alene and Spokane. And most of that stuff is going to slowly rotate through the region here as we work into western and central Idaho for a good chunk of tomorrow. By tomorrow night, We'll start to get a piece of that and we'll be pulling in some wet weather as we get in through Saturday night and Sunday and then another round of wet weather. It's going to get down in here as we head through Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday for next week with dropping temperatures. So I wanted to zoom things out and show you the wide forecast model just to kind of show you that. Yeah, we're going to be hit with one system after another. The next one coming in here for Saturday night. Now we have some cold air that's working down from the northwest. That's that purple on the map there and we'll have dropping temperatures for Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. And yes, it's going to be cold enough as we get into next week that snow is in our forecast, especially getting into Tuesday morning. A little bit of a closer view right now in Vipercast tonight, 11 o'clock. We'll have a bit of a breeze out there and also a few passing clouds tomorrow morning. Not bad. There will be some clouds tomorrow. We'll call it partly mostly cloudy throughout your Saturday, slowly building in the clouds and especially as we get closer to dinner tomorrow, we'll pull in rain and snow. Rain for the Snake River Plain in the valley, snow for the higher elevations, and then we'll see more of that to continue over into Sunday morning. Uh, we get a little bit of a break here for Sunday afternoon and continuing into Monday, but then as we move into Tuesday, there's a chance it's cold enough that we could see snow getting back into the Snake River Plain, especially heading into Tuesday and Wednesday for next week. For tonight and tomorrow, we're going to have winds breezy, southwest winds at 10 to 15, gusts around 25. We're going to have rain and snow showers getting back in here for tomorrow night, and then again for Sunday. Temperatures tomorrow into the upper 50s. Not terribly cold outside, but we will see dropping temperatures as we get on the other side of the Saturday system. 54 for Soda Springs, 53 in Lava tomorrow with 57 in Montpelier. Highs in Rexburg at 53, 51 for St. Anthony, and 55 in Jackson with highs in central Idaho. Hanging out into the mid to lower 50s. Lows tonight back in the 30s. 50 for Mackey, 49 in Arco with highs around 54 for Idaho Falls, 57 in Pocatello, 55 in Burley. In your extended forecast, we'll go to Blackfoot. Look for temperatures here falling into the 40s as we head into Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And yeah, a mix of rain and snow as we work into half of the weekend, the later half of the weekend, and more into next week for Tuesday and Wednesday with overnight lows into the 20s and 30s. Rexburg, a high 47 for Sunday, down to the lower 40s for highs on Monday and Tuesday with some showers to get us through the middle of next week here. We'll go to Jackson, highs at 44 for Sunday. Low to mid 40s as we get into Monday and Tuesday and a high of 40 for Wednesday. We'll be seeing temperatures in the upper 30s for a little bit of next week as well as we get some cold air down from the north and it's going to be pretty chilly as we work into the towards I would say next weekend. Salmon, a uh, little bit of wet weather there, but highs into the mid 50s tomorrow, upper 40s for Sunday and more showers to follow for Tuesday and Wednesday. Pocatello, your eight day forecast, a high of 57 tomorrow. 47 for Sunday, then we're down to the mid 40s for Monday and Tuesday with more passing storm clouds to get us in there for the middle of next week. Overnight lows back into the 30s. Idaho Falls, our eight day forecast. We have wet weather as we get into Saturday night, Sunday, a little bit of a break Monday, but then wet weather returns for Tuesday and Wednesday with the possibility of some snow. And Todd, yes, it is going to be cold enough, especially when you're bringing in some of this moisture overnight through the morning hours. You can see some of that rain turn over snow and then back to rain again. So pretty typical fall weather for us. Okay. All right, Michael, thanks. When we do come back, the October jobs report shows significant growth in one area that has struggled throughout the pandemic. 
but there are still challenges to overcome. This SkyCam Network, sponsored by...